So, in this video, we're going to be going through if I believe it's worth playing Greedfall 2, The Dying World. And this is a brand new release on Steam. I say brand new release, it's early access, and it's very, very early access. And the reason I say that is because they have stated the current state of the early access version. Upon the launch of the early access phase, you will be able to play the first part of the game, the start of the game and its story. You will need to create your own character and choose from various skill sets. There are going to be various regions to explore. The new regional quest and fortress system will enable you to explore these regions differently and offer new options for interacting with certain characters as well as adding to the existing story and mythology. You'll also meet your first companions who will play a major part in your team. So basically, as early access is ongoing, they want to produce regular new versions with more added content. They've stated, like as you can see on the roadmap, they're going to take you feedback into account and things like that at launch in early access on their roadmap it says you get the beginning of the main quest you get three regions to explore you get six companions and there are six different skill trees then in the autumn they will bring in a new companion and new companion quests they will extend the main story add a new region make a hub available and bring in two new skill trees and then in the winter they're not going to do any expanding of the main story they are going to bring in a new companion and new companion quests a crafting system new local quests in two of the regions and also a new skill tree and new abilities and then it says coming next so spring 2025 onwards they will expand the main story and add a bunch of other stuff they're going to extend the max level and everything like that so with that being said, with it being very, very early access, this game is recommended for an i7-10700K or a Ryzen 5 5600X, 16 gig RAM and an AMD Radeon 6700 XT or an RTX 3060 Ti. And that is only to play high 1080p at 60 FPS. So it's a very, very demanding game. And running a 4080 Super, an i9-12900KF and 32 gig of RAM. Yeah, this game is, uh, the performance is not there so far. Like, it's literally just launched into early access, so they're going to need to put out patches and stuff. But considering they have a previous game, which is five years old at this point, and considering they are charging £35 to get into the early access launch, with them wanting to increase the price after they fully release the game, I would say that's uh, stretching it a little bit too much. And this game is published by Nacon, who do not have a very good history with their games. One of their latest flops that they've published was Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. And then when you do play Greedfall 2, like I, I didn't really play the first game much. And I've been watching a lot of footage leading up to the release of Early Access to like try and basically get an understanding of the ropes of how the game's going to work. Because it's Greedfall 2, but it's actually a prequel. So the setting of it is before the first game. So I've been watching the gameplay and stuff of the first game, quite a lot of it, trying to get an understanding of the game, at least the basics of it and how the game is set and how it works. And it looks as though they've taken a step back, not only with the date of the setting, but also with how the game functions. The movement in Greedfall 2 is complete jank. You can run in a straight line, but the moment you turn is very, very jolty. It is not smooth to move around in this game whatsoever. Unless you're running in a straight line, then it's okay. The performance isn't there. The combat feels a little bit off as though it needs some tweaks and stuff. It, it doesn't feel as smooth as it could be. There are some cool things in the game. Like I enjoy the native language all of the people use. It's completely different and like with subtitles turned on you still fully understand it all. There are some good things. The game looks decent. But yeah, they, they've created a portion of a video game five years after the release of the first one and the early access launch which gives you the beginning of the main story is going to cost you more money than what it will to pay full price for the entire first game. And with them wanting to increase the price when it comes to full release, say that's in a year and a half's time, they're probably going to bump it up to about 50 quid. And there is a chance that their development will not go smooth through early access because they've literally released, say they've released 20% of this full game. In the time they've spent developing it and getting it released to the public, they haven't optimized that small part of the game. So if they don't put out patches to fix optimization and clear bugs and stuff and they continue working on the future development of the game to bring it to its 1.0 release, 
There is a chance that this game could be really, really bad upon that full release. But for how janky it is, for the poor optimization, for the fucking price, 35 quid for a small portion of a game that isn't even optimized. I just, I don't think it's acceptable. So to answer the question from my opinion, is it worth playing Greedfall 2? I'm going to say not at the moment. When this does come to 1.0, when they've put out patches, when they've fixed bugs and stuff, when they've optimized the game, then it definitely could be worth playing. I just couldn't get on with this game at all. And it was mainly because of the lack of optimization and the janky movement. It, it doesn't feel good to play this game. They had a movement system in the first game back in 2019, and it feels as though they've made barely any improvements at all, if any at all. And granted, I didn't play much of the first game, but watching the footage, the first game seems a lot smoother in terms of its movement. And I just, I, I can't get on with it. I want my movement, I want to be able to do a slight left turn whilst I'm running and not have my character pretty much feel like they're stopping, turning and then starting to run again. As I said, the only time you're going to get this game smooth is when you're running in a straight line. And even then, what's the point? There's lots of turns and stuff. You start off in this forest that has turn after turn after turn. For the price they are charging, at the moment, it's not worth picking it up in early access. You might as well just hold out for at least a few patches and see where they take it i'd say give it a month or two see if they do any well with updates and things like that and then make your mind up i'd say don't jump into this one it's definitely not worth it at the moment and that is my opinion on greedfall 2 the dying world and what we're going to do is leave that video there let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching